everybody. Greetings from Monaco. Uh, this is the first time we are doing anything like uh, like this. I was very happy uh, when we launched this uh, this application at, on our new website, uh, and uh, it's going to be very interesting. This is only a beginning. Uh, I, I, you posted so many great questions, and in front of me I have the ten most interesting ones. So. Let's get on the way. Uh, I will answer them as best as I can and looking forward to obviously uh, next round. Uh, zdravo svima, hvala što ste postavili ovoliko eh, interesantnih pitanja. Ispred mene imam 10 najzanimljivijih. Potrudit ću se da odgovorim uh, najbolje što mogu u svom nekom stilu i uh, naravno uh, željno iščekujem naravno druženje. Prvi odgovor ide Miljanu Mladenoviću, pre svega Miljane hvala na pitanju, hvala na, na podršci koju mi pružaš svakodnevno, da pratim tvoje komentare koje postavljaš redovno i zaista cenim i jako sam zahvalan što imam toliko puno ljudi koji me prate i poštuju moj, moj posao i naravno i srca osjeća vašu podršku i zahvalan sam na tome. Uh, I eto, nadam se da ću vas i u budućnosti obradovati svojim uspesima. So, uh, just briefly, the first question came from Miljan Mladenović and uh, um, he asked me if I uh, feel their, uh, your support and uh, the love that you're sending me and I answered that I, uh, that I do feel it and that I'm very grateful uh, for the best fans in the world that I have. Second question comes from uh, Marzan uh, Serikpaeva. Uh, I'm sorry if I didn't pronounce your name well. Uh, I tried. Uh, my goals uh, this year uh, are to win Roland Garros and, and Olympic gold medal. So I will. I'm working for it, and uh, I will definitely try to uh, try to achieve those goals. Treće pitanje, uh, third question, uh, dolazi od Cafe Bara Carpe Diem. Kada ću doći na piće kod vas? <laughs> Evo, sad sam uh, prvi put čuo za, za Cafe Bar Carpe Diem. Uh, raspitat ću se malo kod mojih drugara uh, za vas i uh, eto, nadam se da ćemo se u skoroj budućnosti vidjeti. Ja ću se potruditi da dođem kod vas, ali se nadam da ćete umeđu vremenu da uvedete uh, i pivo bez glutena. Bilo bi lepo. So the third question came from Cafe Bar Carpe Diem from Serbia and they asked me when I'm going to have a drink at their place. And I told them as soon as they have a, a, a gluten-free beer, I will visit them. Četvrto pitanje od Mihajla Pipera i vezano je za posetu stricu u Izvorskoj ulici u Beogradu. Ne znam kada ću doći, ali s obzirom da ne vidim strica toliko često, ono što možeš ti za mene da uradiš je da ga pozdraviš kada ga budeš video. So the four question comes from Mihailo Piper and it's from Belgrade and it's regarding visiting my uncle in the street where he lives. And I answered him that uh, since I'm not spending much time there, I don't see my uncle as well, so I told him to say hello to him. He's his neighbor. The fifth question comes from uh, Antoška Nole, uh, and she's asked me about um, what is the happiest moment in my career and the most tragic. So. Luckily for me, I have much more happier moments and happier memories from, from the tennis courts and that those ones are always try to remember more than the tragic ones, obviously. Uh, and uh, one of the happiest probably at the top would be the Wimbledon trophy uh, last year. And if I have to pick a most tragic uh, moment in my career, that would be the 2008 uh, semi-final uh, lost on Olympic Games against Nadal. So 
So the sixth question comes from uh, Moran Neumann and um, she asked me what I would do for my living after I retire from tennis. Well, the most uh, reasonable thing for me to do and, and probably most natural thing comes up to my mind is to stay in tennis, stay in sport because uh, I love this sport. I, I spend all my life uh, you know, being a tennis player and I will definitely try also to uh, be more involved in my, my foundation and try to help kids realize their dreams and, and use my example as their motivation. So the same question comes from Celine Roard and she would like to know why I draw duck at the end of some of my matches and well firstly my friend showed me how easy and quickly I can draw a duck and um, I had a deal that I will draw a duck at the, at the big screen at the end of my next match. I've done it since then I've been doing it I really, I really like it and uh, it reminds me of my childhood all the careless drawing that I, I've been doing as, as all the kids do and also it reminds me of, uh, of a freedom and dreams that, uh, that birds represent. Osmo pitanje je postavila Thea Glezian i ono glasi zašto često igraš drop shot u najnapetim trenucima? Vrlo interesantno pitanje, čak i sam sebi iznerviram mnogo puta kada odigram drop shot, ali to je nešto što je jače od mene. Igrao sam mnogo teških i napetih meča u mojej karijeri i volim izazov i pretpostavljam da je to ono što me privuče da odigram tako nezgodan udarac u nezgodno vreme. So the eighth question came from Thea Glizian from Serbia and she asked me why do I play drop shots at the uh, most uh, tense moments in the match and uh, I like challenges and I told her that uh, even though I uh, do get pissed off on myself when I do it at times but uh, it's just something that is uh, stronger than me. Eto, pitanje dolazi od Ivane Vasić i ona me pita da li planiram uskoro da se ženim. Pre svega hvala ti na lepim rečima i na podršci koje mi pružaš. Smatram da je ljubav veliki pokretač i da ćemo Jelena i ja doneti odluke vezane za našu budućnost spontano. So the last question, 10th question comes from Zeze Moraes and he is asking me actually the same question as Ivana asked me. How, how much longer do I need to marry Jelena? And um, my answer on the last question will be the same <laughs> as this question. Uh, and it, it is that the, I consider love as, as a great motivation and emotional strength and uh, Jelena is my big support and uh, we will decide about our future together and uh, it will definitely come spontaneous and not planned. Hvala vam puno uh, na druženju, na pitanjima koje ste mi postavili. Ja se nadam da će vas uh, zadovoljiti moji odgovori i vidimo se sljedeći put. So thank you very much for the first round of questions and uh, it's been very interesting. I, I look forward to the next round and please uh, in the next round less pride questions. I'm sweating here. Thank you very much.